What is Libby? Libby is the name of the app made by Overdrive that allows you to browse, borrow, check out, and read or listen to eBooks, audiobooks, and magazines on your smartphone, tablet, or other electronic device. You can use the Libby app to send books electronically to your Kindle, including a Kindle Fire, Paperwhite, and other e-ink Kindles. The Overdrive app, which was first created by Overdrive, um, which also is the people that make the Libby app, will no longer work as of May 1st. The first step towards getting started using Libby is to download the app to your device. The Libby app is available in the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. To use Libby on a Kindle Fire, go into the Silk web browser and visit LibbyApp.com. If you're using Libby on a Windows computer or any type of computer, you can also go to LibbyApp.com to access it from your computer. Getting started. Once you have downloaded the app, you'll see this screen when you log in. If you have a library card, you'll want to select yes. If you don't have a library card yet, you can also sign up for a temporary card online by choosing not yet. Next, you'll want to connect to the Upper Hudson Library System. To do that, the easiest way is to choose search for a library and then type in East Greenbush. The Upper Hudson Library System should come up. Tap on Upper Hudson Library System to continue. If you do guess my library, it will use your device's location to determine the closest library to you. If the closest library to you happens to be the Rensselaer Public Library or North Greenbush or Sand Lake, those are all part of the Upper Hudson Library System. The Upper Hudson System is all the libraries in Albany and Rensselaer County. Once you've tapped on Upper Hudson, you will see the Upper Hudson Library System home screen. The next step is to add your library card so that you can borrow items. You wanna tap on sign in with my card. If you do not have a library card, choosing I would like a library card will allow you to register online for a library card. Next, you'll wanna tap on the Upper Hudson Library System. Our library system has a reciprocal agreement with the partner libraries that are shown as well. What this means is that if you are a member of one of these other systems, you can use your library card from their system to sign in as well. You can use your UHLS, that's the Upper Hudson Library card, to check out items from these libraries as well. Since they're linked, when you search for an item, item items from all these library systems will come up. So you don't have to do anything uh, differently. It's all automatically comes up for you. You want to enter your full library cumber, full library card number with no spaces into the card number box. If for any reason you get an error, feel free to call the library. If your card is expired or if there's um, an excessive amount of fines, it may cause some kind of block, but we can usually sort that out for you. Once you've signed in, you will get a confirmation screen that your sign-in was successful. You have the option to rename your card in case more than one person in your household will use the same device. That's helpful because if you don't rename it, it might just have the full number or card one. So if you have a child or another person, you can both check out items on the same device. Once you've signed in, you'll see the UHLS home screen again. On your first login, they'll ask you if you want to read with a Kindle. If you say yes, read with Kindle will be displayed by default when borrowing a book. We'll see that later. You can always skip this now and choose, and choose this option later. If you scroll down on this same screen, you'll see features, featured collections that are updated periodically. That screen to the right is what you would see if you were to scroll down on the main home screen. The gray bar at the top, you can see that on the top left, that contains the navigation buttons. The first one, the little three lines with the balloon, is the filter button. 
That's new, and we're going to talk more about that later. Next, you'll see newest, which has the newest items that have been added to our collection. Popular is the most popular titles right now. And random will give you a random selection of everything. Available now will show you titles that are currently available for checkout and are not on hold for anyone else. On the bottom, you can see on the very bottom of the screen, that is the Libby navigation bar. You'll see this when you're in the app. Um, it helps you navigate around the app. You can tap on the glass magnifying, the magnifying glass icon, and you can search for a particular author, title, keyword, subject, or series. The building icon will take you back to that library system home screen where we just were. The three lines in the middle are the Libby menu. You wanna tap here to see options, including notifications, help, settings, and more. If you tap on that middle icon, what, you'll, what will come up is that little uh, box to the, to the right. The dot next to the lines means that there are unread notifications. The three lines icon may also be a little icon. It also may look like a little girl icon, depending on what version of the app that you have. But in most current versions of the app, it's the three lines. Tapping on the books icon will take you to your shelf. This is where you access current checkouts and items on hold. Tapping the clock icon will take you to your timeline, which shows your recent activity on Libby, including recently checked out items, recently returned items, and holds that you have placed.